it's Matt and today I'm doing my daily guinea pig routine. I have based this on a typical school day so this is my routine showing you what I do before and after school. I've tried to keep it as realistic as possible but obviously I couldn't film this on an actual school day hence why it's very light in some scenes and yeah it is basically what I do so anyway let's just jump mm -hmm. straight into it. So the first thing I do in the morning is just go down the stairs and then go outside to check on the pigs. pigs live outside, there's two of them, two females, they live outside in the shed in their hutch. Um, during the night they're locked away in the hutch but during the day I let them out um, so they have free range of the floor but obviously every morning I go and check on them, just check they're okay, feed them if necessary and also let them out the hutch so that they have the floor to play on for the rest of the day. So I first just start off by opening the hutch and usually I get little greets and weeks, greetings of weeks, that's what I was meant to say. And I also feed them a little treat or two, I fed them a carroty each this morning which they really really adored. I then topped up their hay if necessary, I usually just add a bunch more and spread a bit of ready grass everywhere for them to enjoy. I also feed them their pellets in the morning, they get half a cup between both pigs in the morning. Um, they don't tend to eat their pellets, um, they'll graze from them here and there. So if they haven't eaten them I might entice them by adding on some herbs or some ready grass on top. Um, and if the bowls are empty I'll add in the pellets but usually I just let them graze from what they have left over and top it up if necessary. And those are just the oxbow pellets. So then I just keep the hutch open and close them in whilst I'm at school. I then just go to school, obviously I have to go to school, um, I do sixth form so I'm off to school and there's me giving me a lovely awkward wave and obviously whilst I'm at school the pigs are free ranging in the shed. builders outside so it's a bit awkward. So once I'm back from school I just take off the shoes that I was obviously wearing that day and then just take off all my bags and coats and whatnot and put them wherever and then I'll go and grab something to eat. So I thought whilst I'm eating my lunch which is not what I usually do when I get home from school I usually eat something but not lunch but obviously I'm filming this on a, not a school day um, so I'm eating lunch. I'm eating an aubergine bake. But my mum decided to put mushrooms in it, which makes everything so much worse. Comment below if you like mushrooms, because I don't understand why someone would like mushrooms. I then just make myself an Earl Grey tea, because I always have to have tea when I come home from school. It's a big part of my life. Um, so I'll just grab my mug and make a cup. And then whilst I'm in the kitchen, I also decided to do the vegetables. I usually leave the pig's veggies until late at night, just because I prefer to spread them out a bit more. But sometimes I do feed them straight from school because then I can sit down and hand feed them with them and interact with them a bit more. So I'll usually just give them a variety of veggies. Today they had a bit of cucumber, a bit of carrot and a bit of lettuce, lettuce um, some pepper and uh, recently I've been giving them radish as well. So I then just go back down um, just so that I can collect all the water bottles because I always refill these after school or late in the evening because I never have time in the morning. So this is something I always do when I do the veggies. So I'm just emptying the water and giving it a good rinse. I always use filtered water because it's lower in calcium and obviously I have two elderly pigs 
So I use filtered water from the fridge as we have this fridge which you could filter your water in. So that is what I do. I then grab my tea and the veggies and go back down to the shed. I also then go and grab the water bottles and pop them back down in the shed as well. So I usually just sit down with the pigs on the floor, um, luckily the shed is nice and big so I can sit down with them and interact with them. I usually have a whole load of cosy toys laid out on the floor so they tend to be quite interactive and the pigs will just eat the veggies from the plate and from my hands and it's very adorable and this is my main way of interacting with them because they both are still quite skittish and shy um, guinea pigs I find this works best because if I bring them indoors they tend to get uh, quite on edge and feel very nervous and don't particularly enjoy it so I tend to just let them sit in their own environment and I will join them as opposed to them coming to me Any veggies they haven't eaten I will then throw back into their hay trays just so they can eat them later um, and then I will start doing some cleaning. So I tend to do just one to two full cleans every week and then spot clean here and there. I'll empty the litter trays out every other day um, but for the purpose of this video I didn't film that because I want to do a cleaning routine and explain it all in a lot of detail. So I haven't showed that and that video will hopefully be coming up soon. We'll see when that comes up but I do plan on filming my whole cleaning routine and explaining how I do it all. So to finish I will just lock the pigs away and close the shed door. Obviously I pre-filmed this during the day so that I had good light. Uh, I usually don't lock them away until gone 8 so they have lots of time on the shed floor. I don't do it whilst it's still light, it's usually dark by this time. But yes, that's the guinea pigs daily routine. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know you've all been excited for it. So I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you all next time. Bye!